Hey everyone, welcome to 2 Minutes with Tuesday with Bala. This week we are going to look into authentication with the Azure Static Web Apps. Let's get started. So by default, if you see the authentication, authorization or enabled in Static Web Apps, uh, the default providers are GitHub and uh, Microsoft Antra or Azure Active Directory. They both are by default enabled. If you do not want to use this, then probably you need to block the access. So if you click here, you can see that in this case, we are trying to block Azure Active Directory, and then it would send a 404 code. Uh, so basically, I did do this on the app. So let's take a quick look here. So in this case, I'm just making this particular route uh, products, and I'm just saying allowed roles as authenticated. So you have two roles by default. One is authenticated, one is anonymous. So you could use either of them. In this case, I did add it to the static webappconfig.json mentioning which are the routes that are being authenticated. Going back into the brand bar, I'm trying to add uh, authentication link here, which I'm saying auth slash login AAD, which is Azure Active Directory or Antra. And then we have a logout link here. Take a quick look. I did check in this code and I already deployed it. Also in the role management, you can say you can send an invite. In the role management, you can choose the Active Directory or GitHub, and then you can give the email access. You can either mention as contributor, reader, whatever invitation expiry date. So go back into our app. So this is our React application. So I can see this when I go to the products link, then hit enter. I'm unauthorized. Let's go back into the and try to click on login here. I'm just taking Mac into my, I'm already authenticated with my Microsoft account. Now if I go back into my products, that seems to be working fine. I hit log out here. Hit my, so you can see this, it's simple as that. So by default, these authentication providers are available. If you don't want to use GitHub in this case, and I could just go and say disable GitHub. And if you have custom authentication, you could do that as well. That's all for this week. See you again next week with another topic. Thanks again for watching.